I don't know if you can tell here, but the sole here is completely off from this heel. I'm not going to touch it because this is Toronto all over these boots. It's also really kind of scuffed there. I'm so sad because these are my favorite booties. I love a heeled boot moment. It has its time and place. A repair will be necessary for these ones. I haven't really had to wear boots too much this winter season, which isn't a bad thing because that means there hasn't been a ton of snow here in Canada. So it's a little odd that I've been able to get away with wearing running shoes during this season, but I'm not going to get too used to that because knowing my luck next winter will be brutal. But to go on the hunt for a product that I need to shoot for a brand deal. I tried to order through my regular grocery store, but they were out of stock. So now I have to hope that I won't run into any issues finding it at another place. Here we go. Woo. Oh my God, ignore the recycling. <laughs> A craving has hit me for chocolate chip cookies and I'm gonna satisfy that craving. Got my fun bowl for my dry ingredients. Let's do it. 427 grams of flour. Baking soda. I've got my fun magnetized measuring spoons. Always a hit in this kitchen. A teaspoon. Must distribute. Voila. Creaming my butters in this one. I love using a food scale for this because it means less dishes, 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 <laughs> less dishes, and apparently more accurate baking. Also, I just find it really fun to use the scale. <laughs> Aside from the fact that there's the benefit of the comfort food that is chocolate chip cookies at the end of this, I will take any opportunity to do some baking. A couple weeks ago, I think I mentioned how I think cooking in the kitchen can be so creative, but Baking for me feels more, I mean like there's elements of it that can be creative for sure, especially with certain desserts like cakes or pies or things that like also visually have an element to them. But I find uh, baking to be like the, the calm, the just buckle in, follow the recipe, don't do any thinking and just leisure in the process. I just love it. I adore the smell of brown sugar, wow. I've been having just a low vibration day today and I could feel myself just kind of being in a mood and I think when you find yourselves in that kind of meh day you can lean into it and just be like okay today i'm not going to be the best version of myself and some days i think that's great like that's all that's all you need to do is kind of like wallow in it but some days i also feel like if i can sense that i have the power <laughs> to switch things around i need to take advantage of it because it seems silly to like let a day go to waste so here we are we are baking and I'm gonna feel better after it's done because I'm gonna have yummy, delicious cookies for today and then also for a future me because I'm gonna freeze a ton of these. Makes for a really great dessert for yourself when you just wanna like make a single serve or when you have a guest or guests over, you can easily be like, yo, want cookies, homemade cookies? Yeah, I got those. It's best not to look at that too closely. It's a lot of sugar, a lot of butter, but <laughs> it's a lot of goody. Would you believe that KitchenAid sent me this KitchenAid mixer? This is in their 2024 color of the year blue salt. I'm not sure if this is really giving you a good visual, but there you go. Kind of has this glimmer when the lights hits it, a little bit of a purple effect. It is so pretty. Do -do. I'm gonna plug you in. Okay, let's get this going. There we go. Locked and loaded. Look at that butter and sugar. Mm. Eggs. This is where things always potentially get messy. We're adding something sweet. I personally love a milk chocolate chocolate chip cookie. I gotta do some scraping, but it is ready. Ooh la la. I'm gonna scoop all these onto one baking sheet and put this in the fridge so that they can firm up and then I can freeze a ton of them. There's also a little pan over there with some for present day enjoyment. You know, when I find myself in a funk like this, I sometimes struggle with, am I simply being lazy or am I just like needing a little bit of extra care, love, and attention today. And I think the inclination is always to say, oh, you're just being lazy. Get it together. But that also implies that being lazy is bad, like that we always have to be these productive beings, which isn't a helpful question to be asking at all either because it's not our job always to be productive. And as someone who does like to be productive and optimize the time when I'm working so that I have more time for other things, it's still a lot of pressure to always be expecting that level of energy from ourselves. And especially 
especially as I like lean into learning more about my body and how my body functions differently at different times in my cycle. Like even hormonally, I'm not conditioned to operate in the same way every single day, but I find it's like so difficult to give myself kindness for that fact and say like, hey, your body's telling you to rest. Your body's wanting a little bit of fun in the day and less like go, go, go. I guess it's just wild to me how we can consciously be aware sometimes of how we get in our own way and yet we still get in the way like i know i'm i'm bad with that at times where i just like get really harsh on like what i need to get done and i would never set these expectations for other people but for myself i have like these huge expectations and in some capacity i think like that's great but then like it crosses a line <laughs> you're like girl why are you like being so harsh on yourself and not giving yourself a break both like physically giving yourself a break but then like also like the more emotional sense of that break like stop being so on on it like why am i nagging myself on a brighter note these look immaculate look at that look at that delish i'm gonna finish doing this and get a few baked in the oven cookies are in the oven right now the apartment is smelling really yummy which is already making me feel a little bit cozier but on that note about low moods and questioning you know am i just being lazy and should i push through it or do i need to show myself grace and actually push back because asking that question about what you need kind of helps you figure out those next steps. But distinguishing between the two isn't always the easiest. So I do think like when I'm in those days where I'm like, I just don't know what I need right now, I kind of like to do little chunks of both avenues and see like where I'm feeling the most impact. So for example, doing some baking, making chocolate chip cookies, a really comfort food felt very much so in the energy of nurturing myself. Whereas sometimes I, I think like even saying, okay, I'm gonna take 10 minutes and do a quick tidy, or I'm gonna take 10 minutes and organize this drawer and just see how I feel. Um, that sometimes ends up being like the root for me because I'm like, wait, I actually feel like I just needed to get over that hump of starting something and now I'm feeling a little bit more energized for the day ahead. So I, I think finding a way to kind of tiptoe in one direction just to see like, is this right? Oh, if it's not, then we pull back and go the other way. Um, that is kind of my method of figuring out how to uh, honor my body and make sure that I'm like taking care of myself, but then also knowing when to push myself because I don't want to get in the habit either of like always being like, yeah, don't worry, girl, chill out. It's okay, self-care. Well, sometimes self-care is also like chug, chug, chugging along. I don't know if I had to really like motion that out for that message to get across, but I did do that. So uh, the cookies are baking, like I said. One of the tasks that I wanna do today is fix this painting that dropped in my bedroom. I usually have two, but one of them collapsed. And I've been staring at this wall for 48 hours, feeling like if I don't do this, it's gonna be one of those projects that just never gets done. This is the image in question. I have to fix it because it got a little jostled when it fell down. <laughs> I know because it dropped it might seem like this didn't work but these have been up there for five years and I'm pretty sure I used ones that were a little too weak before. This one can hold 15 pounds and this is way less than 15. I think it looks pretty good and I'm honestly just glad not to be looking at it in a symmetrical wall anymore. I also try and always keep some distance between my headboard and the wall so that if these do ever drop again in the future, there's no risk of it hitting the bed. It's just gonna go straight down. These are going to be my reward for a job well done. It's time for the cookie taste test. These are hitting the spot. <laughs> I'm just getting ready to head out to dinner right now. This is a very uh, fancy OOTD. I've got black jeans on. A nice little chunky mock neck sweater because it is 
so cold. I don't know why I always make plans when it's a snowstorm outside. I have the worst luck with that. My go-to lip combo lately has been the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat in Pillow Talk. I need a mirror. So you use this to line. I never used to really line my lips, but I find that it makes it that when colors fade off your lips, the lip liner kind of sticks around. So I feel like the longevity of my lip is much more when I use a lip liner. And then I use the Summer Friday Lip Butter Balm in Vanilla Beige. This shade has been by far my favorite one. I think I've got three of these now. This is the good one. I just like the fact that it doesn't feel like too much, especially because I'm gonna be eating and it's super simple to reapply. I don't need a mirror if I'm out and about. I've got some earrings, I've got rings. What else do I need? My purse. Oh my god. I think I'm gonna take this one tonight. I really, really love this bag. It can be worn as a crossbody or a shoulder bag, but I just feel like it's the perfect size. It's not too small. This does come in a smaller micro version. I know that's probably more on trend, but this size just feels more my cup of tea. Wallet, lip, other things I like to keep in my bag. Gum, especially after dinner. You need some gum. Hand sanitizer. A reusable shopping bag because you just never know where the night will take you. I did an Instagram reel and TikTok on this bag, actually. I think it went viral on the internet because it fits books perfectly. Like, I'm talking the massive edition of Crescent City by Sarah J Mass perfectly. I can't believe that book fits in here. But I got this before it had gone viral on the internet for that. And then once I started seeing people talk about that, I'm like, wait. Is that why I love this bag so much? Like maybe that's why the size is so compelling to me is because I can take whatever book I want with me wherever I go. Gotta moisturize the hands too. Why do I feel like I'm forgetting something? Um, I think that's it. I'm gonna head out, enjoy my evening. I'll talk to you in a little bit. The reason I was having all of those wackadoodle moods yesterday was because my period was coming. Oh, look at that. I don't want to be dismissive of the fact though that that conversation that I had yesterday is very real in terms of like that happens. So, like that's a very relevant thing that I sometimes have to go through when I'm not um, menstruating. So when it's not to do with hormones. But I also think it's important to keep in mind how hormones impact how we're feeling and to always factor that into things. Like I was, I was just totally not thinking about that yesterday and you know, sometimes that can lead you down the path of like wild thinking as you may experience yourself when it's like you could just take a step back and be like, wait, why don't we just like not put so much weight into this thought because maybe, maybe it's this. Maybe it's not, but maybe it's this. So when I'm thinking about my night tonight, I really just want to give myself a chance to relax. Like today I felt like I was walking around like an 80 year old woman. I just was not able to function at my normal pace. I just felt very sluggish. So I'm gonna slug, I'm gonna embrace the slugging and do just that. I'm on the couch right now with my fluffy blanket. This blanket is from Costco. It is the best thing ever, so cozy. But I'm gonna video game a little bit and specifically play Lego. I've really been into, I can't believe I'm saying this as a 27 year old, but Fortnite Lego. <laughs> I mean, it's like Animal Crossing and it's not. You're building like a village with Lego and you go foraging and you hunt for tools. It's kind of like, it's kind of like Minecraft and Animal Crossing had a baby. And then you've got Lego. I don't know. Something about it is just very satisfying to me. It's the kind of game that you just like put on music and, and just go do your thing on. I'm very in early stages and I don't have enough time for all these hobbies that apparently I enjoy. So it's not like I'm playing this all the time because there's crocheting, there's reading, there's baking, there's, you know, socializing and being a regular human being. But when I do have time, this is fun. Oh, it's nighttime. There's my mediocre house right there. I don't know how much you can see. Oh, I'll show you this one. Okay, chill. You see my little lodge there? This one's fun. I'm telling you, it's just never, it's never, oh, it's lightning, yikes. This just is bringing me joy. What can I say? Look, and there's my bed. Gotta get some rest. Don't wanna go to work today. Think I need a holiday. You know I got some money from my melodies. We can go to Italy. No magic.
Magic Act.